You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, we're going to solve a civil engineering soil sample problem to give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the FE Exam. This Pass the FE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. This week's problem was created and solved by Enrique Ivers, an engineering training. Enrique, take it away. In this civil engineering soils problem, we're told that a sample has a total mass of 28 grams, a volume of 12 cubic centimeters, an oven dry mass of 24 grams, and a specific gravity of 2.4 for the solids. We're asked to determine the void ratio of the soil sample and are provided with the following answer choices. A, 0.15. B, 0.20, C, 0.25, and D, 0.30. When we calculate the void of soil samples, we should model the soil as a three-phase system of air, water, and solid. On the first page of the civil engineering section of the FE handbook, we see a phase diagram similar to what's shown on the right. In this model, we're provided with the following definitions. V sub t is the total volume, which is the sum of the volume of the voids and the volume of the solids. V sub v is the volume of the voids, totaling the sum of the volume of air and water. V sub a is the volume of air. V sub w is the volume of water. V sub s is the volume of solids. And m sub t is the total mass, which is the sum of m sub w, the mass of water, and m sub s, the mass of the solids. Volume of the solids in the soil is given by the equation V sub s equals m sub s divided by the product of g, the specific gravity of the solids, and rho sub w, the density of water. We were provided with the mass of the solids, 24 grams. So we use the oven dried mass because that is the mass of the soil sample after it's been dried in the oven to remove uh, the water that is in the sample, which adds four grams to create the total mass of 28 grams. We know the specific gravity of the soil sample is 2.4 and the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. This can be referenced in the FE handbook if you forget this uh, value. Solving for V sub S gives us 10 cubic centimeters for the volume of the solids. And from here, we can calculate the volume of the voids by finding the difference between the total volume of the soil sample and the volume of the solids. We model our equation V sub V, the volume of the voids, equal to the total volume V sub T less V sub S, the volume of the solids that we just calculated. We substitute in our known values, 12 cubic centimeters for the volume of the sample, and 10 cubic centimeters for the volume of just the solids. This leaves us with 2 cubic centimeters for the volume of the voids. Now we have to be careful here. The void ratio is given by the ratio of the volume of the voids divided by the volume of the solids, not the total volume of the soil sample. So again, the void ratio is the volume of the voids divided by the volume of the solids, not divided by the total volume of the soil sample. So be very careful here because chances are one of the potential answers that is offered to you will result from incorrectly modeling the equation and dividing the volume of the voids by the total volume instead of the volume of the solids. So making sure that we use the right values, we substitute in two cubic centimeters for V sub V, 
and 10 cubic centimeters for V sub S. This leaves us with a void ratio of 0 0.20. Looking back at our list of answer options, we see that B is 0 0.20 and is thus the correct answer. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE Exam.